Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to install a map in Minecraft and not only how to install a map in Minecraft, but I'm pretty much going to teach you how to mod Minecraft first because you need to mod Minecraft and then how to add the map and if you want to add any different mods, be my guest, make sure you watch this video in order and until the end because I'm going to show you first how to mod Minecraft, how to fix your Java files, how to update Java so you can play Minecraft 1.18.2 which needs a Java update and a jar fix to run perfectly fine and then how to add the mods to it, right? So make sure you watch the video in order and until the end until you're able to install the map. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial. Step number one is to make Minecraft Forge, meaning modded Minecraft. How do we do that? I'm going to show you how to do that real quick right here. But if you want a more in-depth step-by-step tutorial on that, I do have a video on that that should be coming out on the corner right now. Anyways, let's get right into it. Right here, we have the website to download Forge. This is the official website. It's completely safe. Go ahead and download the latest version of Forge. In our case, it's 1.18.2. When you come over here to this website, it might be 1.19, 1.20 or whatever number. Just go ahead and find the version right here on the side, on the left side, and just click on it like 1.18. 18.2 installer, right? We're gonna download the installer, but I click on it. Once you click on download the installer, it's going to bring you over here to this website. Do not click anything. You don't wanna download a virus. Just let this load, be really careful right here. All we're going to click is this button that says skip. Go ahead and click skip button, and that should immediately start the download on the bottom left. Now, in order to run the installer, we need to install Java 18 first. You might have Java, but chances are that you have the older version of Java, Java 8, or some of you might not even have Java and you not even see this file right here. This might even look like a zip file, right? I'm gonna go ahead and drop it to the desktop. I recommend you do the same, drop it somewhere where it's safe. And this for you might look like, like some little books or like a little folder. If you don't have this little cup right here, you need to download Java 18, right? So to do that, we're going to open the Java 18 download website after you click the second link in the description of this video you'll be presented with this website called java downloads whatever just go ahead and find java 18 scroll down until you find windows click on windows and we're going to download x64 installer go ahead and click on this link right here in the middle and just wait for that to start the download should start immediately it's a really really quick download once java 18 has fully downloaded go ahead and drop that into the desktop now that is the installer for java but here's the thing some of you might try to run the installer and after you have installed java it still doesn't work what you need to do to fix that is run a file called java Jarfix. To download Jarfix, click on the third link in the description of this video. Once you click that link, it's going to bring you to this website right here. We're going to click on download and that is going to take us down here where we're going to click Jarfix.x, right? Click on that and that should immediately start the download. Like I said, it's a pretty simple process. If you want a more step-by-step -step tutorial, I have a tutorial on how to mod Minecraft. You could go ahead and click on that. But anyways, let's go ahead and drop this into the desktop as well. We could close all the tabs right now. We are done for the moment. Go ahead and run the installer, Java 18. It's called JDK18. It should be right there, whatever you put it. That is going to ask for administrator's permission go ahead and give it permission to run obviously it says this file has already been installed on your computer would you like to reinstall it i'm going to click yes you're not going to get this you're just going to get the first time installer which is pretty much the same thing without the warning sign let's go ahead and wait for this to install it should be a pretty simple process as we can see preparing to install go ahead and click next next everything just next pretty simple pretty straightforward and we're just gonna wait for that to finish installing as we can see right here, the installer has finished. You just go ahead and click close. And now we could delete the installer, but do not click on force yet because it might not work for many of you. Go ahead and run the jar fix. Jar fix is going to ask for administrator's permission as well. Go ahead and click yes, allow the program to run. And after that, you should get this little window right here that says that jar fix has run completely fine. Everything is good. And go ahead and click OK. And that's it. You, you're pretty much done. Go ahead and delete jar fix. Now, before running Forge 1.18.2, in order for us to install it without having any trouble, we need to run Minecraft version 1.18.2 at least once in our computer. So go ahead and open Minecraft Launcher. Now, once we have opened Minecraft Launcher, make sure that you have selected 1.18.2 because that is the version that we're installing Forge for. If you're installing Forge 1.19, 1.20, select a different version. Anyways, in my case, it's 1.18.2. I'm going to go ahead and click play. You just need to run it at least once on your computer. I'm going to let Minecraft load all the way to the main menu. Anyways, as you can see, Minecraft has fully opened. I'm going to go ahead and quit the game. And now we are ready to install Forge 1.18.2. Let's go ahead and click install. Once we click install, we're going to get this menu right here. Go ahead and click install client click ok and that is going to download everything for forge don't worry just let it load up and just just give it some time okay now as we can see forge 1.18.2 has fully installed and now we are ready to download the map that we're going to use and we could even delete the forge installer so we could have a clean desktop now i went ahead and left two different links in the description they're gonna be named something like different maps maps links something like that because there's two different mini maps that people love right there's journey map and there's saeros mini map journey map is a great map it has 131 million downloads okay that's a lot of downloads and saeros has 33 millions but it's still a very very good option in here no matter which one you choose for this 
tutorial, I'm going to use journey map. You're going to scroll down and you're going to look at the right side. And right here, there's a chance that you're going to find the most recent version of Minecraft. In this case, it's 1.18. We could go ahead and download it from here. If you don't see 1.18 here, just go ahead and scroll back up, click on files. And right here, you're going to find all the different versions of this journey map that has been made. For example, we can see here we have a bunch of recent files. If you want to see even more game versions, click on view all right here. That is going to load up this big table right here. And right here, we could filter out the version that we want. We could go ahead and find Minecraft 0.18, 0.18.2, click on that. And as we can see, the versions that we get is just the 1.18.2. The ones on top are the most recent ones, and that is the one we're going to download. Go ahead and click on download file. Like I said, there's other ways to download this. You just click on download, it's going to start loading up. If you wanted to download Saedos, for example, and you want to do it through the right side, just go ahead and open that up and click download on the right side. And as you can see, it's the same, same process. Anyways, I know I said that I was only going to download one. I ended up downloading both of them. I went ahead and dropped them both into the desktop. In your case, you should only have one. I mean, if you want to download both of them, be my guest. Anyways, how do we put these maps into the game? First of all, let's go ahead and close the browser and open Minecraft Launcher back up. Once you have opened Minecraft Launcher, if you install Forge successfully and the way I told you, you should have Forge 1.18.2 right here in the bottom left. If you don't see it by any chance, click on the little arrow, you might find it there, or go to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Another way to make sure that Forge comes up in case it's not showing, click on new installation and right here on the version, go ahead and find Forge 1.18.2, right? That's another way. You can name this whatever we want. Let's go ahead and name it map and just click create and that should create a Forge version of Minecraft. That is like the extreme way because for some of you, it's not going to show. Anyways, once we have Forge 1.18.2, do not open it. You don't need to open it to drop the map into there. We could go ahead, click on installations, find Forge. And as you can see, we have a little folder file right here. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to open a big folder with a lot of files, right? We're going to look for a folder named mods. There's a slight chance that mods folder is not there. Now, if by any reason the mods folder doesn't come up, we're going to create it ourselves. Go ahead and click new and just M-O-D-S mods. And we're going to open that folder and drop our maps in there. I'm going to drop only one because I don't want the game getting confused. I'm going to drop journey map in there, right? So now we have dropped journey map into the mods folder. We could go ahead and close this folder and open that forge version that we put the mods for. Obviously, it's going to give you this little warning right here. Click that you understand all the risks and click play. Let's let it load. As we can see, Minecraft has opened. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer because it's modern Minecraft. It's not regular Minecraft. As you can see, we have this mods button right here. Go ahead and click on it. And as you can see, we have journey map installed. Now, to prove you guys that it is working, I'm going to click on single player and I'm just going to open my first world that I have right there. The mini map should work with any map that you have created, any world that you have created. You don't necessarily need to create a new world for the map to show. It should show on any of your maps. As you can see, we have it right here. It says right here on the bottom left to press J to open the journey map. As you can see right here we have the big map right as, and as we move we're going to explore more and there's a lot of new things like double clicking and now you could add like home right let's say this is your home oops it's not home it's home right so home there we go click save and now we have a, a waypoint right there we go we could see that we have a waypoint and that is our home i mean the map is pretty useful it shows you places you have visited you could add waypoints it tells you like where you died it shows mobs around you as you can see on the map there's like great things around me which is mobs and you could control all of that you could go into the settings and change everything from the settings like what shows and what doesn't show but that is up to you and i'm going to leave that part for you guys to explore anyways i hope i was able to help you guys and as always bye bye